All right, let's do this. So we are recording a little bit different here today. So we're going to see how this actually plays out. If you do like this, let me know in the comments. I greatly appreciate that. But this way I can actually read what's on my screen while I talk to you because we're going to be looking at Chelsea versus Manchester United in this match that can be epic for Chelsea because let's be real here. Lately, our results have been poor, especially that Burnley match playing against 10 men for the majority of that match, and yet we came out with a draw, a 2-2 draw, and almost lost that match. Speaks volume to exactly where we've been at lately with this entire squad and the manager itself. Now, I'm not going to say we need to get rid of anyone right now because we still have plenty of matches left this season. We still have the FA Cup. Once things start kind of shaking up and getting played out a little bit more, we will see where we're at. But for right now, it still makes sense to keep with Pochettino as our main guy, which I'm sure you folks are going to say that we should get rid of him. But I always say this, if we're going to get rid of him, where do we go from there? Who do we bring in? Who even wants to come in? And on top of that, if we're looking at financial fair play, we are looking at possibly not being in, bringing in those players that that new manager wants to bring in. He's also dealing with these players that have been here stuck on long contracts. And that by itself is going to make it very difficult for any manager to come in, which Pochettino has also had to do because... People came in from Thomas Tuchel, they came in for Graham Potter, and they also came in for Maurizio Pochettino. But still, some of these players are not the players that this next manager is going to want. So it makes sense that we stick with Pochettino. But that's all we'll talk about right now because I do want to dive into the match tomorrow against Manchester United because this by itself will be a make or break, I think, match for Pochettino and how the results go. Because if we lose this match, I could definitely see the board, Todd Bowley, the whole fan base being against Pochettino, still being the manager. So therefore, again, this is a huge match. And I want to give you my starting 11, that I think would be the best possible for Chelsea to get the results. Now, granted, this could fluctuate a little bit depending on the injuries because some of these players are coming back. Pochettino has come out and said that Chilwell most likely will not be fit for this match, which means that we really can only deal with Cucurella on that left side. And a few of the other players, like uh, and Cucu, is still going to be out he's even said that i still don't know uh, we still don't know at the moment we do not know if it is possible to start the train with the team at the moment he's not training with us he's recovering and has been longer than we expected that's after the final he played 30 40 minutes the problem we do not know we found out that game so like I said, this is still kind of up in the air with Nkuku, so therefore the front line kind of picks itself as well. But that being said, let's look at our squad. Now, a goalkeeper, really don't have to go much in depth with this one. We're looking at Petrovic. That makes the most sense. I think he's been a solid player this entire season since he's been starting. I don't think that Sanchez is going to be starting anytime soon unless something happens to Petrovic, and that makes total sense with the ridiculous saves he's been doing this season. He's kept us in so many matches, and the player has been just electric for us and I could definitely see him being one of the players of the season for Chelsea this season I do think it's going to go to Cole Palmer but I could also see Petrovic throwing his hat into that as well now the back line this is where it gets a little bit trickier because we do have a few different options but we do have a few injuries Malagusto out on the right side he is questionable but I do believe he will start this match I don't know if we have really anyone else that we can slot into that position we could maybe put De Sassi, but I think that Gusto is going to be starting there and then we're going to have Batashield, De Sassi, and then Cucurella on that left side I think these four players are going to be more of our future four there has been rumors that we will sell Reese James I still don't know how I feel about that we can make a video about that later. But these four players, I think, are going to be future-wise at Chelsea. Yes, there's De uh, Fofana, who could possibly start when he's back fully fit, but who knows when that will be. And yes, there are Trevor Child, but there are other players that can definitely step up. But for this match, I think this is where we go again. We really are kind of injury prone and we have to stick with these four and they've been playing well together yes we've put up a few goals lately but i would rather see this back four keep building off each other and keep playing more and more matches now in the midfield we're definitely going to see very similar styles that we've seen before but i would like to see almost a triangle three with Cansado sitting back a little bit more and having enzo and palmer in front of him i think this allows really Cansado to absorb all the defensive tactics that he has to do but this allows Enzo and Palmer to move forward which I think we need to be doing against Manchester City or Manchester United we definitely need to be attacking this team more and putting them 
almost pushing them back more because they are definitely a team that can really hit us at some point and we need to get in front of this match as soon as possible and by coming out with the attacking type style I think this will be the better route for Chelsea now the rest of the squad I do want to see Modric on that left side I do want to see Noni on the right side and I want to see Jackson up top is a number nine now all three of these players on top of with palmer though can rotate so all four players will be all over the pitch which again will be very difficult for Manchester United to defend this and i think with some of the injuries that they have they will also be struggling with their defensive third and be having these players like Mudrik, who has been phenomenal this last month and a half. I think he deserves another start. Yes, you could argue that Sterling picked up the assist, but I still have not been pleased with what he's been doing these last couple matches. And therefore, again, I think he should come off the bench and prove himself once again that he deserves a start. Because this whole season, he's had multiple chances, even in that Burnley match. Had the opportunity to win the game for us and missed an easy header. And therefore, again... I do not have full confidence in this player, and I think of him coming off the bench maybe will push him to be a better player and actually play better for us, which we definitely do want to see because he is a guy that we know are capable of winning things, and he just has been lacking that as of lately. And therefore, again, it makes more sense to start Mudrik, who, again, I think has been playing very, very well, not just for Chelsea, but for Ukraine as well in the international break. And I think he deserves to get more playing time to build his confidence as well because we can see how well he can play the ball when he's able to cut in and play some of those balls through the middle I think he can really start latching on to some of those passes linking up with Jackson with Palmer and those guys can start finding the back of that even more now we're not really struggling scoring goals as of lately which is good to hear but it's our defense but like I said if we can score multiple goals that itself can put this game away quicker and take pressure off our defense is what we really need to see in this match now my prediction for this match I think it's still going to be a fairly close match I expect multiple goals from both ends I do see us winning this game 3-2 but it will be a nail biter throughout this entire match but I think Chelsea are the better team despite being lower in the table I think we can go out beat Manchester United get all three points and again start climbing this table before the end of the season I still think Europa is a possibility which again seems like a far-fetched idea at this point but I still think it can happen with this squad we still have the FA Cup the semi-final against Manchester City and we can go on to the final in there this season still is not done yet we have plenty to play for I think if Pochettino can get things right if we can avoid a bunch of injuries still which we've still been dealing with through this entire season we can still go out and have a fairly decent season which I know seems mind-boggling to say the least but if we can do that I think Pochettino will have something to build off for next season, which I think some of the fan base will get off his back. We will also then have the summer to, again, sell, buy players, move some players around, and keep building what we've been trying to do for the last couple of seasons with the new owners. And again, start seeing some of this being implemented and really start growing as a team. And again, start competing for titles, which is what we've been lacking as of lately. So... That is what I have for you today in this video. If you did enjoy this video and this content the way we did it today, I greatly appreciate it. Hit the like button, subscribe down below. Again, I greatly appreciate that, and I will see you after the match.